Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May the 16th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning that I hope will encourage you. Just a little note regarding the sunglasses. These are prescribed, and I will be needing to wear them for the next little while, hoping they are not distracting from the message today. Once again, before I begin this word, I extend an apology for background noise. Thank you for your patience. The Lord has been speaking to us about the work that He is doing, and especially the work to bring in the harvest to reach the nations, not only with his love and salvation, but to set the nations free, to deliver us from the work of the enemy. The Lord has called each one of his people to be activated in this day for this work of the ministry. There may be many who think they are not qualified that the Lord has not gifted them, that they are of no reputation and therefore unable to be used by the Lord in this day. But the Lord is telling us in this word that we are qualified in Him, that we all have a part to play and that He will use those who are humble to do His work. This word today is titled, Willing Vassals. May it bless you as you listen. I'll begin by reading scripture. 1 Corinthians 1, 18 through 28. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. The intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise man? Where is the scholar? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? Brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are. This passage of scripture encourages all of us who belong to the Lord that God has qualified us himself. He does not use worldly standards and human standards to qualify us for his work. I'll begin reading the word. Take hold of me and run. Take hold of my healing virtue being released in this day and run with it to the nations. Joy is in the house of the Lord, for all barriers are coming down, and a free flow of my spirit is going forth throughout the earth, says the Lord. Multiple blessings are being released unto those who have been faithful to keep my word hidden in their hearts. For in this day, the word that has been planted in the hearts of men is coming to fruition. Those who have been building their faith upon the word of the Lord are able to rise above the flood waters that are being shed upon the earth. They are able to flow and move with the workings of my spirit in this day, for they have not put their faith in men or built upon the teachings and counsel of men, but they have put their trust in the word that has become flesh, 
and the word has become alive within them, says the Lord. Great measures of joy are being poured into the people from on high, and they are being changed. Their worship is flowing into the throne room of God, a fragrant offering of praise and adoration, and I am increasing the flow in this day. I am birthing worship into my people, and they are bursting forth in expressions of praise and adoration. Their offering is acceptable and pleasing to the Lord, for it is flowing forth from deep within their innermost parts without restraint. How I long to set my people free to worship me with everything within them. In this day, I am breaking the dams loose. I am knocking down the barricades, and worship shall flow forth unhindered as a river rolls throughout the land, and every voice shall join in to exalt the Lord and proclaim his goodness. Great is the Lord, and great is his faithfulness to all generations. The catch is coming in, the net is full, and great numbers are about to be brought into the household of God. Be faithful to minister life to these, teaching and training them in the things of the Lord. I will give you the grace and ability needed to relate to these coming in, to bring them out of the clutches of the world and establish them into the kingdom of God. Great grace is upon the church, and not one will be lost. But everyone who comes into the sphere of the ministry I am preparing will be brought into a living relationship with the Lord. They will be walked into the kingdom to partake with all the saints of the abundance available at the table of the Lord. I have called and chosen many who are willing vessels, and I will use you. I will instruct you in all aspects of discipling those coming into the kingdom. Music flowing forth from you will welcome those coming in. The radiance of your countenance will compel them toward the Father. Joy flowing forth from deep within you will draw the people. I have chosen you as instruments in my hands. Do not doubt that I will use you, says the Lord. Do not doubt that I am able to use the foolish things to shame the wise. Many mock and jeer at the simplicity of the vessels I am using in this day. They stand to judge them according to a standard set by men. But I have judged these by my standard and found them acceptable in my sight, and I will give back to them everything the enemy has stolen from them. I will bless them and fill them and set them on their feet and point them in the direction I have laid out for them. I will thrust them out and cause them to walk and not stumble. I will take them into the work I have prepared for them. I will implement them in the work of the harvest. Do not lose hope. Do not waver from the call on your life. Do not kick against the work I have laid out for you, but walk humbly in it and you will begin to see that the desires of your heart are being fulfilled. Be faithful in what has been given to you to do. Hold on to those things being revealed to you in this day, and move forth in them as the doors open before you, says the Lord. The Lord is calling us all to be active 
in the work of the ministry, in whatever shape or form that takes. The Lord is telling us we are qualified in Him. He has chosen us as His instruments in His hand, and He will equip us and give us the ability to do the things He is calling us to do. The Lord has told us that He chooses the foolish things to shame the wise, those least expected He will use to shame the wise. He is asking us to walk in humility and to be willing vessels. The Lord is telling us in this word today that we will experience what it means to have Christ living in us, that we will express praise and adoration unto the Lord from deep within our innermost parts. The Lord is changing us as his vessels to flourish in the work he's called us to. I hope this word today will encourage all of you and especially those of you who feel that you are unqualified. Just be willing and he will do the rest. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.